Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are a polyon today. So hopefully I don't screw up the void too badly. Those took forever to explode. But at least I didn't what the crap. Is everything on this... F okay. Yeah, I was going to say, is everything on this run just going to be super troll bombs? That take forever to explode. Okay. Let's get rid of these. So I'm going to go back for the curse room and the uh, hearts there. Made it. Lots of places to need bombs. That doesn't help all that much. What? You piece of crap. I was, you know, stuck back in the corner, and it, you know, snipes me. <sighs> now I gotta pick these up. Come on, any bombs, please. No money and no bombs. I'm not gonna have any idea what that is. Did that give me seven? Did I pick up two bombs in the last room and completely forget about it? Or did that just give me seven bombs? I guess that's basically the only good place for a secret room even though it wound up not. I don't remember if this will get me both or none. It will get me both. Well, neither, I guess. Is what I meant. Okay. I'll probably do the curse room anyway. Alright, now statistically, am I going to get a better stat up from voiding whatever the boss item is or from actually um, picking up the boss item like because the boss item could be magic mushroom theoretically can you get any other stat ups or er, sorry all stats ups in the boss room That was awful. Yeah, I would much have preferred to um, have right, addicted means that I lose a full heart leaving. <sighs> yeah, I would have much preferred any stats from the void. Rather than, you know, being able to carry one extra card or pill. This floor wasn't Curse the Blind, was it? No. Just the cellar. I really hope I get something with at least a decent, you know, function in the item room. I 
Alright. This should have a crawl space. Yeah. And then if I trade away both soul hearts... Dude, a locust is so good. Except for Locust of Wrath, I guess. Is it Wrath or Conquest or War? I don't remember if they actually follow the same... Or if they have the same names as the uh, Horsemen. Ah, son of a crap. Too many spiders. Okay, Mysterious Liquid is so much better, but I can't walk across. So, luck, speed, and range. Oh, wait, I could have waited and seen if I could... <sighs> yeah, no tears or damage, of course. Yeah, I should have waited to see if I could use the bed to get more health. But I didn't think about that. Okay, so this locust apparently slows the enemy it hits. Because that's the... Did I pick up a glowy key and not notice? Because there's no way I have... Uh... Like, there's... It's only been, like, two rooms since I used the, um... Void. battery that I didn't notice somehow. See if I can bomb into the shop. Well, algae can keep me alive. Asking that. <sighs> Alright, this is actually going to be annoying. Because the... Oh, he recovered a lot faster than I expected. Yeah, but the brimstone baby was moving so much faster than the part I can hurt that I wasn't able to, like, line up. Okay, tears up. And a soul heart means awesome. And then, of course, I can't trade away that third, um, heart container. Sleeping in the bed is just going to give me half a red heart. I think. Why am I even coming back to check? I don't care about half a red heart either way. Yeah. Wow, it's floor two. Ugh. It's kind of dumb. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. 
know I'm making it to boss rush and hush doesn't exist. So I'm going to have to try and stack health in order to um, oh jeez teleport demon baby is very very good I do like being able to slow down the whole thing by hitting one piece. Seriously, I would much prefer the brimstone ones to the grub throwers. Because the brimstone stays on the screen a lot less, of, you know, for a much shorter period of time. I hate how those things can just snipe me like that. chances to use the void as I would have expected on an XL floor. Hey buddy, you gonna shoot me? I guess not. Or maybe this is the super secret room. Demon baby, shoot at the enemy. Holy cow. Like, the unicorn stump isn't even helpful to void. That was probably really close to catching me. 
I tend to overestimate the amount of time I can spend in those spike rooms before the spikes come back up. Come on, give me a soul heart somewhere, holy crap. Okay, the compound fracture. Yeah. Like, the parasite fires its bits, like, perpendicular to where the tear was traveling originally, right? So compound fracture basically just does the same thing, except they go off at random angles instead of, you know, perpendicular, right? Or am I missing something? Because it looks like, you know, each bone I fire sends two bones off at angles, right? Of course, it's way too late on the floor to buy Mama Mega. Especially because voiding it doesn't actually help. Okay. I will 100% take Black Candle. All right, well. Holy crap. Can't believe I got hit twice on that room. All right, I have the strength card if I want to make a second uh, or take a second double item if I get the chance or I could just get magic mushroom and be able to take a second double item that way oh crap this is the one that makes the boom flies Compound Fracture is actually bad here because the pieces can go and blow up boot flies that I'm not expecting to get blown up. Probably going to wind up voiding that. Oh. No, I just take Brimstone. Take a snack. Go back for the Eternal Heart. Next floor can't be Depths XL because I don't have, um, or because I took Black Candle, so there's no way I'm making it to Boss Rush, unless I get two Emperor cards basically immediately. What? I hate the enemies that just wind up firing. You know, like when you do a certain amount of damage to them, like those guys, when they lose their head, they'll, you know, send out a spurt of blood. And how that spurt can go straight into you. You know, no matter where they are. And there's zero time to react. I'm certainly glad that guy didn't turn into a like one of those flies that sends stuff at you. Demon Baby has saved me from a couple of attack flies so far, just this floor, while I was trying to charge up Brimstone. All these hosts. Okay, good. That could. 
could be Dagos there. Why do I have an 80% chance for a double room? When I had one last floor. Okay, two Yara rooms. If I can find a room that drops a soul heart or a tinted rock that gives two soul hearts, preferably. My tears stat seems to be a lot better than I would think. The box is probably something to avoid. Damage and shot speed. Shot speed's irrelevant, though. Alright, lucky penny. item room, which is apparently like two rooms south of where I started. That looks like a secret room there to the left of this room. Oh, there we go. Invincibility from the empty vessel. There's that. Okay. Or the room could be a lot bigger than I thought, and holy crap, I'm glad I took Brimstone. Super Envy is just a pain in the butt, no matter what. Unless you have Brimstone, or possibly... Um... Like, piercing shots. And, like, big tiers. To where you could hit significant portions of them at once. That's a huge waste of a trip to find the item room. The D12 isn't even useful to void. Can't give him any money. Or er, I can't give him any health. Because I don't have any health. Instead, blow him up and get nine cents. These stupid spiders have so much health. And then they leave an egg sack behind. That's just annoying. Well, Spoonbender is uh, freaking amazing with Brimstone. Well, that was a disappointing pair of stone chests. Like one key, one penny, and mysterious candy. I mean, is mysterious candy good for anything? 
I mean, I guess you could farm infinite money and infinite soul hearts if you sat and waited, you know, 45 minutes for enough poop to spawn from you. Although that might not even work, because it might only happen while there are enemies in the room, now that I think about it. Just for fun, I'm going to Yara this twice, so I wind up with 20 red chests. Well, I get hit by two spiders, because... Alright, so... Ten of these are going to be teleporting me... Or no, sorry, six of them were teleporting me to the Devil Room. That was a huge waste of two Yara runes. And, you know, a soul or a demon heart. But, considering as I can't find health anywhere, or I can't find, you know, soul and demon hearts basically anywhere, I figured I wasn't going to have much of a chance to teleport anyway. But I was expecting it to be a little bit better than that, I will admit. Because five base chests, because remember when you Yara a chest, the uh, stuff in the chests duplicates. I was hoping one of them would have a guppy item, because then that would be three guppy items. Because I believe it, like, keeps track of it that way. You know, it's not just three items, like if one of them has a guppy item, I believe. All of the arid ones will as well. But, yeah, one had... No, two of them had two spiders. Two of them were teleports to the devil room, which I was already in. Thank you very much. And then the other one had, like, regular spiders. Although if I had brought... I'm just going to avoid these. Okay. N now that I think about it, if I had brought Mama Mega down instead of ignoring it, I could have fought there. And the Void hasn't really done anything for me, unfortunately. And I can already fly and I don't want a hard container. So I guess I just save up for th two more rooms and get the and void fate's reward and fate. Good speeds, okay. Range is irrelevant. I actually found a tinted rock. Okay. Well, there's a sacrifice room. I mean, yeah, I've been hit a lot more than I should have been, but I honestly don't know if I would have, like, if I've found enough. Um, I mean, if there's another perks pill somewhere, but I don't think I've actually found enough hearts to have let myself, uh,
teleport. the void I could theoretically farm up a few but Athame requires that you get hit before the um, you know ring of death will um, get you demon hearts yeah I basically would have had to bring the two years down and duplicate a single soul heart into four then have found a perks pill to know what perks pill looks like and then grabbed the other perks pill by blowing up the uh whatchamacallit and yeah just like I would have had to have played a very specific way which I obviously didn't and which isn't necessarily the most, uh, what's the word, intuitive way of doing it. Maybe I should have taken Mom's Pearl, all those floors ago. I wonder how many of these hearts would have been soul hearts instead. Remember, Hush simply doesn't, like, the floor down simply does not appear. Or the pathway down just does not appear. When the run is a daily that only goes to Mom's heart. Uh, that was a waste of a key. Yes, I could get we need to go deeper out of it. Okay, well, that's it. Unless, I guess, there could be telepills and 
here. Bad trip. Luck down. Yeah, I mean, if that were telepills and it took me to an error room, I think I would have been able to go fight Shoal. But, nope. Grab the trophy. 810th is a lot better than I thought, seeing as I'm doing this significantly later than normal. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you would. I'll see you guys tomorrow.